need to log into the administrative menu. And to do that, what you do is you have to um, do a certain key sequence in order to gain access to the uh, service panel. In For this ATM, you um, press all three buttons, enter, uh, cancel, clear, enter. And as soon as you let go, you, you, uh, you press one, two, three. So you have to do it in a very fast manner, just like this. You press all of them together, let go, one, two, three. Now it's gonna prompt you for the password. And in this case, 21. Now you're into the operator function. At the top left, you're gonna see settlement. You click on settlement. And you click on add cash or add cassette number one. The addition, the number of bills you're in inserting. Uh, let's say it's uh, let's say you're putting a thousand dollars, so that, that would be fifty bills. So you write fifty on your keypad and enter. You can see the current number of bills has increased by fifty and is now written three forty eight. And it says right here, cancel to return. So you click cancel on your keypad. If you want a detailed transaction, like a receipt of what you put in, you would go to journal. And then you would go to, in the journal menu, you would go to view journal. And you can use your arrows on the keypad to scroll back and forth between transactions. And in this case, it's the first one that appears. Uh, it gives you a timestamp how much was remaining in the cassette and how much you have added and it says enter will print so you press enter and it's going to print you a detailed receipt of how much money you've actually um, registered to the atm press enter key you press now you want to get out of the menu it's always canceled to return So now the machine is going to initialize and I have to physically put the cash into the ATM. In order to do that, we're going to take our, our big key right here to open the front panel. And um, I'm going to change the code, but for now, that's the code. So I'm going to do, I'm going to punch in 051069 and I'm going to turn this clockwise. And turn the handle counterclockwise and this is going to give me access to the interior of the ATM so this is your DPL uh, this is what actually converts the internet to the phone line you need all three lights to be on if all three lights are not on that means there's an issue with the actual DPL or the internet connection so keep an eye on that now, let's say we want to add money to it. We, we said that we were adding 50 bills. So you take the cassette, you pull on it pretty gently. And we're going to take our, our round key right here to open the cassette. And open the cassette like this. And we can pull back on, the, um, on this piece right here. You gotta make sure. Whoa. You have to make sure that you only put twenties and they're in good condition. And then you would unclick this uh, this plate right here, so that it creates pressure on the bills. Once this is done, you can close it back back up and put your cassette back. Make sure that the cassette, don't just put it like this, it needs to be clicked in. Now, if you ever have a bill jam in the future, like this is your reject bin, so any rejected bills is gonna go right here. Uh, but if you ever have a, a bill that's jammed on the belt, there's a way of getting access to it. If, if you can see under here, there's a, here 
and this is going to give you access to all the belts so if you ever have a bill jam it's going to be on top here or in the back but regardless of where the bill jam is you really need to make sure that you're very delicate as if you you're too rough taking the bills out your belts could end up like this and that would create a big problem for the next transaction so keep in mind you need to be very careful when you're dealing with this area and then you would just push this back screw the thumb screw back into place another aspect of the ATM is the top part where you take it's the same key for the front panel as the top and this is going to give you access to the paper and it's going to give you access to the power so if you want to power the machine off that's how you would do it and if you need to change the um, the paper I'll show you how so you just remove this right here and there's a little lever right here right push down on the lever to release the pressure the pressure take your roll like this and you have to feed the paper behind this little metal plate and make sure it's right in the groove at the right place and as soon as you see it appear under the roller here you, you snap the roller back into place and that's it oh yeah you put back your your paper guard um, and then to close back the machine you see it's not going to close you have the handle needs to actually be turned close it like that turn this back into place and you can see it's locked and secure that's it